Right, we're in the woods in um, somewhere, 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 and uh, we've got the Manfrotto elements. Now, this is meant to be the ideal travel companion with someone who likes to do a lot of traveling, a lot of photography. Obviously, it's not for video, but it does have a ball head that you can move around in, but mainly for photography shots. So if you see something like a squirrel or something there, you can literally move it from there to there, like really quickly and with a smooth action. This comes in a few different colors. It comes in red, black, blue, and gray. And um, should I put the box down and show you the tripod? Look how small this tripod is. So this tripod's really small, and this is what comes out the box. It can also hold a bag of weight as well underneath to make it really stable. And guess what? It also comes with... So it comes with metal spikes as well, so you can stand it into the ground. So you can use it through all kinds of conditions. Snow, um, obviously um, ice, uh, mud, dust, gravel, uh, hills. You've got all of that right there. And plus you've got two Allen keys as well. Uh, no, actually you got three Allen keys. Okay, they give you three Allen keys. Um, so two look the same size, but probably not. And then one's really small. Uh, we'll show you that soon. But this tripod's really good. It's got four twist off um, knobs. So basically you undo it, just, just literally undo it. Don't have to undo it and unravel it for ages. Just undo it one twist and the leg comes out. And then you just screw it back in to like obviously lock it. And now it's locked. And I'll undo it again, undo this one, undo that. So it's not too long. Screw that in. I think I've taken that one out. So that's the size of the leg at the moment. So I would say that's probably about three foot at the moment. So I'll undo all the others as well. We'll get a good look at the size of this, especially onto a tripod. And as you saw, the other bit went down as well. Now I've got to turn it all the way around because it's upside down because this is how you can travel with it. So it's like a freaking spider and it clicks into place. It's nice and sturdy, tightens up really well. This is the ball head. It's a central ball head on the top of the tripod. It's uh, easy access to slide on and, and obviously clamp onto the tripod itself. Ugh. So this is what comes with it. This is the base and the base could be easily twisted on without using a screw or a key or anything like that. And then you put the plate on. And this camera I'm using here is a 600D by Canon. Uh, I've just got a normal 55, 18 to 55 inch lens on there. Uh, so this is the kind of weight that we're dealing with. And it's, it's quite sturdy, as you can see. So I'll tighten this up. And then, if I'm taking pictures, I can literally get the, the panel out and I'll be able to see from the side turn it on, focus on something that I want to. So I'll switch to a uh, picture mode. I've got it in video mode at the moment. And I can zoom in, it feels nice and comfortable. Take the picture, got a nice picture. Then spin it around just by adjusting this knob here. So there's two knobs. There's a big knob that creates the ball head action movement. And then there's one on the side that gives you certain degrees and angles. Um, and it feels quite smooth. If I've got spikes in the ground, it would be much better. But as it comes with the spikes, it's not too bad. So I can just move around. I could just use this, the left hand one with holding the camera on the right hand side and I can move and focus and take pictures up really quickly. But if I had spikes where I move up really quickly, it does jolt. So depending on the shutter speed and aperture, then obviously you'll get like a bit of a feedback where it might have a bit of motion blur, which you don't really want. So it's definitely worth putting the spikes in, which we're gonna do anyway. 
So having the camera on here just feels nice. It can fit quite heavy cameras on there. I've had a 5D Mark III with a 70 to 300 mil lens on there. Um, it felt really nice. Just obviously be careful because obviously there's no sort of lock. If you undo it a little bit like that on the knob, it gives you a little bit of adjustment. But if you leave it, it'll just go bang like that and it feels like it's gonna go somewhere, but it won't. Obviously this is the furthest place it will go, but this is quite cool because then I can get pictures right up if I really want to in that slot. There's only one slot and the rest of it is kind of at, let's see, probably about 70 degrees. So it's not too bad. And I just like the knob on here. It's got rubber fills. So if you're using it in cold countries or traveling about where weather does change and stuff, you can literally just hold the knob and it won't be too bad because it's uh, quite warm. Um, obviously getting the battery out for your camera is a bit of a problem, mostly on all tripods. So if I undo this, it's not too long to get it on and off. And then obviously screw it back on because obviously the plate is underneath. I mean, uh, well the back opener for the actual battery pack is underneath here, which makes it a bit awkward. But what I like about this tripod is the fact that you do have, to measure everything up, to make sure everything's all nice and straight, you do have um, a spirit level on the left hand side and a spirit level on the knob as well. So you can get nice horizontal and vertical balance through the tripod itself. And if you're like into photography and you want to travel around and everything like that, this is a good tripod to have. Now, it's not the biggest tripod in the world. As you can see, it's only about this height. Now, I'm five foot nine and obviously with a more distance it's a little bit more different. So if I have it up like that and someone's like six foot seven or from a distance I am now, which is probably about, uh, about a good five, yeah, a good five and a half meters away, then it's slightly different. You could just obviously get that level up, but obviously the tripod should be a little bit bigger, but it's not, this is the biggest it goes. But the good thing about it is that I can get the tripod legs and I can mount it literally anywhere. So I could have the tripod like so. So it's on two legs at the moment, or I could have it going in a little bit more, just to get, just get creative with whatever I'm doing. So I can have it like so, but also it can go really flat to the ground. And that's what I like about this tripod. So I'll get it as flat as possible. And obviously the legs would be in, but it's no need to put it in because we're in the forest. But you can have it really nice and low. And you can get some cool shots, squirrels, but whatever you're doing, you can get loads of different cool shots while it's on the floor like this. It feels quite stable. At the moment, it's got a little bounce in there because the legs are right out. So, which is a little bit more time consuming because you have to obviously put the legs back in and stuff. But if you're to already set up, it's not so bad. And then also, as I was saying as well, with having spikes and all this sort of stuff, plus this is very lightweight, is that you've got, you've got a bag holder here. So you can put some weight on there and the tripod's not gonna go anywhere. So it's direct through all the legs and it keeps it nice. So that's what I like about it, it's really nice. And it's got Allen key screws here to tighten up the legs after a while when they get loose, which is a nice addition to add. Um, and obviously it's got rubber feet as well. So if I screw these in, this takes around 20 seconds. And then you just tighten them up. When you get used to it, you will know exactly where to tighten them up. Now we're going to put the studs on. So with the studs, you just unscrew the rubber uh, studs. They've got little pointed ends as well. It only takes a few seconds to unscrew them. And then uh, it's got, feels like a bit of like a locking, instead of grease, like a locking uh, glue on there. So it keeps it locked in and you don't lose them. So I'm just going to place these out of the way. So all I need to do is screw the spikes in now, which have got a longer thread than what the rubber pointed ones do. Now I have spikes into the ground. So wherever I'm going, it should be nice and sturdy. 
and then I can put some weight on the bag and then it keeps it nice and sturdy which is not going to go anywhere. So what do I think about this Manfrotto tripod? Well, I think it's quite decent. I think the fact is that you get spikes where normally you have to buy spikes separately, plus you get a traveling tripod, plus it flicks up and it compresses into some, something so small and it's telescopic lenses, not telescopic lenses, telescopic legs. That means it's a lot more agile and stronger. Plus it can hold a bit of weight for your camera, but it's got no video facility. All it has is straight for photography which is not too bad because that's what they're selling it at that's what Manfrotto is selling it for to be honest with you but yeah this is really quite comfortable it feels robust and it's light as anything and you could just hold your camera and walk along and plonk it and then you're going to take your pictures and stuff like that and it's a very good traveling camp traveling campaigner traveling companion that's what I'm looking for but yeah, if you liked this video and you like this sort of atmosphere of like having this tripod like shown in its full habitat, its real habitat, then obviously hit subscribe, share, like and all that sort of stuff. And I'll see you next one. Thanks for watching.